the fuel cell bus Mercedes Benz Citaro, emission free and quiet. The Citaro has room for up to 70 passengers and after tanking it can travel up to 200 kilometers. The maximum speed is 70 kilometers per hour, ideal for city transport. To date, the test buses have been on the road for more than 60,000 hours and have travelled more than 800,000 kilometres. The buses have been braving the elements and have proved themselves up and down the hills of Stuttgart with an uphill gradient of 8% or in the city traffic in Madrid and Amsterdam. The fuel cell is an energy converter which transforms the chemical energy generated from hydrogen and oxygen into electricity and water. The electricity is then used in an electro engine. The chemical reaction is highly efficient and free of emissions. Manfred Schucker takes stock of the test phase cute. The results are a lot better than we had expected in respect to the fuel cell. On commencement of the project, we were expecting the fuel cell to have a life cycle of below 2,000 hours. In some locations, we have results of over 2,500 operational hours. The fuel cell bus has been running very reliably, but from a technological point of view, they need to be more practical. As well as further improvements to the fuel cell itself and to the electrical and electronic components, we have to improve the efficiency of the hydrogen consumption. And with the F-cell buses comes the necessary supply infrastructure. At special fueling stations, hydrogen is generated either by natural gas or solar energy. Bruno Vacker has been driving the F-cell bus through Stuttgart since the start of the test one and a half years ago. The bus's suspension is quite hard, similar to that of a normal diesel bus. The only difference is that its centre of gravity is quite high up due to the hydrogen flask and the fuel set technology on the roof of the bus. This means that the bus leans further over in the bends. The passengers have already been won over by the environmentally friendly bus. It is really great what you can do with hydrogen. I think that when you travel by bus, you're already doing something for the environment. And then if the only emission is water, well then it's a double portion for the environment. I was very surprised by how relatively quiet the bus runs. You really notice it when it sets off. It's quieter than a normal bus. The test project CUTE finishes at the end of this year, but an extension of the test phase is planned. The project CUTE Plus will be focusing on the technological aspects. The test phases will be extended a further year in a few selected locations. The aim of CUTE Plus is to develop a fuel cell bus prototype with a brand new hybrid technology. This technology will need to be able to show us whether the fuel cell technology is at a stage where it could be implemented in a standard application relatively soon, or whether it will take a few good years until implementation. Cute Plus has been set up to improve the practicality of the F-cell bus. The aim is to improve the efficiency without losing any of the current reliability.